This is Andy Purawal for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I'm Delob, joined by the Romford Ball, Johnny Fisher. And I imagine a very relieved Johnny Fisher to be able to fight on Saturday night. Definitely. Thanks for talking to me, Andy. I'm very relieved to be fighting, but I'm not relieved in a sense because I know I've still got to do a job on Saturday night. But when that announcement came that it could have been on, it could be off, that was a very stressful time. Talk to me about that little period, Johnny, when you was hearing the news that like Dillian had had to pull out, the main event was off. What was going through your mind? I was like, bloody hell, my dad's gonna, my dad's gonna pass out from refunding twelve hundred tickets. It's gonna be a nightmare. But luckily, Eddie's not the. I'm, I've sort of knew in the back of my mind, Eddie's not the sort of man to let his fighters down, and he still want to put it on. And I'm really grateful for that Matchroom have done that, and the zone obviously for still showing it and airing it. So it's great that they're doing this for us. Johnny, 1,400 tickets for somebody at such an early stage of your career, that's terrific support. What does it mean for you to be able to have so many people come out and want to show love and support you come Saturday night? Really, really good. Um, and I, what I would say as well, it wasn't just, I've done that, that many tickets out of my hand, but I've had so many messages from people saying, oh, I didn't realise I could get them off you. I've got them through StubHub as well. So that's great news as well. But listen, to have that support at such an early stage for people in Romford and Essex and Exeter, people up and down the country as well. I've done about 200 to South London and I've never really been into South London, which is great. But I've got to do the job on Saturday and make it all them people proud who come to watch. How many of your customers have you stolen from John Hedges? Oh, probably about... <laughs> Well, he actually took a couple of Steve Andrews ones. I was, I was banking on getting Steve Andrews' ones in, but he's, John's done a few tickets himself. He's done a couple of hundred, so still good numbers. And we're, we're on a show together, and a lot of my supporters from Essex, they'll be cheering him on as well. Uh, John, just, uh, John, just talk to me about, you know, Saturday night. What should everybody expect to see from you now as you're progressing with your career, you've had a few fights. How would you assess how everything's played out so far? I've shown a clear improvement in the last fight, and I think I made a difference working with Mark Tibbs. The first two fights, I've done a brilliant job with Steve Andrews and Ian Andrews while Mark was away. And I definitely learnt loads and loads on that. But now having Mark back and Jimmy Tibbs in the corner, I think that's, gonna, that's the progression I need. And um, listen, it's a very, very, very long way to go. But I'm showing them improvements and I've still got to show more improvement on, on Saturday as well. You said you're showing those improvements. What should everybody expect to see from you come Saturday night then? I just want to measure my distance a bit better. I tried to do it in the Danny Whitaker fight. Quite difficult against a shorter guy who's, who's moving their head a little bit. But with Torero, he comes to fight and it should allow me to, uh, to, to really measure him up and get them right hands crashing through. It's an exciting time to be a part of a heavyweight division, Johnny. How much do you know when you see the big fights, when you see people like Fury Wilder and a couple of weeks ago, you saw Joshua Usyk, when you see those names, those, those fights, how much does it whet your appetite to eventually try and reach that stage in your career yourself? It'd be unbelievable to get to anywhere near that level. I know I'm very, I'm very humble with myself and I know my limits and what I've got to get to get to that level. But I do dream of one day getting to the top, but I know how, what sort of price you've got to pay in terms of your discipline, the hard work you've got to put in and the talent that that does take. Do I feel, have I got the raw ingredients there to some, somehow get to that bit? I probably have, but it's a matter of having the right fights at the right time, taking the right tests and it's a long, hard journey to get there, but hopefully one day I will be. Johnny, I just want to get your thoughts on the main event will not that will not go on now. Obviously, uh, Tyson Fury, not Tyson Fury, Dillian White and Arthur Valley. Um, Dillian now looking towards facing Tyson Fury next year. What are your thoughts on that? If that one does get a rubber stamp from WBC and it's ordered, Tyson Fury, Dillian White. What does Dillian have to do to try and overcome Tyson? Listen, I'm a Tyson, massive Tyson Fury fan. And I always have been. I think he's the full package in terms of a heavyweight. He's one of the best ever. He's going to go down as one of the greats. But if there's one man out there with the, that raw animalistic sort of attitude towards fighting it has got that dog in him who can, who can have a scrap Dillian White is the man and I think that's the most important thing in a boxer a heavyweight boxer Dillian, Deont Deontay Wilder's got it as well because he showed that in that fight that he can hang, hang in there and if Dillian White can hang in there and land one of them big left hooks why can't he win but logically Tyson Fury is the man and Tyson Fury is my favourite going into that fight Johnny, just a final message from yourself before I let you shoot off. For everyone who's going to come and support you on Saturday, everyone who watch on ho at home on the zone, what would you like to say to them? I'd just like to say a massive thank you to all of you guys. You've been a huge, huge impact and inspiration on, on my career so far. Now it's up to me on Saturday night to give you a great performance. Bosh. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, I appreciate your time. Thank you for speaking to Boxing Social. See you later, mate. Cheers, Andy. <laughs>